I was watching Leonard Bernstein's brilliant, brilliant lecture series called The Unanswered Question. He made one little remark that I thought was uh, compelling. Uh, he was talking about, uh, on, on the subject of phonology, about musical phonology, and he was talking about talking. And he said, sort of offhand, that in every culture, every human culture, people whine and tease in minor thirds. Or, minor thirds. Um, I thought, minor thirds. Okay, so that's do, re, mi, me. Okay, minor thirds. But if, if people do whine and tease in minor thirds, that must mean that it's a minor third from something, and that something would be the tonic. So I, I concluded from that that we must establish a tonic in our speech. If we can hear a there's got to be a tonic that can rise those to, to the minor third. And that got me thinking. When I'm talking to you on my tonic, as I am right now, you hear what I'm saying you, uh, as, as though I were speaking to you about facts, about something that I'm pretty sure of, about something that I want you to believe. That's the function of tonic, stable. What it does is as a songwriter, it will allow you, if you say your words out loud and find out where your stable lines are and your unstable lines are. And, and so, so I, 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 I'm, I'm going to say it and keep saying it until I know that I'm saying it exactly the way it makes me feel. And then I'm going to just listen and see where my voice goes up and where my voice stays down.